So as we just heard, resuming reunions for families separated by the Korean War was one of the agreements reached between the two Koreas at their recent high-level talks. For a look at what this could mean for inter-Korean relations, Hwang sang -hee reports. The inter-Korean agreement to hold a set of family reunions this Korean Thanksgiving holiday will begin with a working-level Red Cross meeting early next month. The resumption of the reunions, the first since February last year, has always been high on South Korea's agenda. In her Liberation Day speech a couple of weeks ago, President Park geun had urged the North to help arrange reunions as a way to rebuild trust between the two Koreas. Millions of family members were separated by the Korean War in the 1950s, but time is running out for the elderly victims. Out of the nearly 130,000 registered divided family members in the South, nearly half have already passed away. South Korean efforts to resume the reunions have always been hampered by North Korea's demands that it receive something in return, like the lifting of sanctions. No details for the upcoming reunion have been set yet, but many speculate the meeting will take place in time for Chuseok or Korean Thanksgiving holiday at North Korea's Mount Kumgang Resort. Although the working-level talks next month may not be smooth sailing, some say the resumption of reunions could play a key role in expanding humanitarian exchanges between the two Koreas. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.